Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for sticking around. I can't believe that we have grown to 127 subscribers. Like, what? Um, still a long way to go, for sure. But, I'm in it for the long haul. I've been MIA for quite some time, and I know I've been really bad at uploading. It's just been... Winter is kicking my butt, basically. That's basically it. Um... But I wanted to go ahead and I was trying to get a New Year's Eve tutorial out and it didn't work. I did a poll um, on Twitter and I, it was like 50 wanted a smoky eye the day before New Year's Eve, 50 wanted a nude look, and I never got a tiebreaker and I didn't, I was running out of time and things were kind of hectic over here so I didn't actually get to film. I'm going to end up doing is probably, I don't know, doing maybe something more intense and smoky right now and then do another video with something a little bit more relaxed and chill. I don't know. I haven't decided. I pulled out a couple things that I want to play with. Definitely color. It can go either way. And I try to grab things that are still available for you guys to get from the drugstore or from like Ulta or online. Um, and if there is something that's not available anymore, I'm sorry. But for, as far as I'm concerned, I think everything here you can still get. Um, and it's a mixture of drugstore, drugstore, affordable prices, and a little bit more on the higher end side. I don't really have any luxury brands of like Chanel or things like that, um, unless you consider Becca to be a luxury. I mean, I don't. I just feel like you can find it at Ulta, so yeah. But anyways, um, thank you so much for all my subscribers. Thank you guys for sticking around subscribing. If you're new here, hello. I am Clarissa. Welcome to my channel. I hope you stuck around and hit that subscribe button. That should be floating around somewhere on the screen. Um, but other than that, let's get into this video. So it is New Year's Day. It's officially 2018. That is insane and super weird to say. Um, but yeah, so I'm just relaxing at home with my family. Um, not really doing anything watching TV, watching The Office, basically. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take my glasses off. Excuse the messiness. Um, my skin is really dehydrated and um, just like peely for some reason. And I've exfoliated and it's still just like peeling off. So to prep my skin, I'm going to go in with the Mario Badescu. You guys can see this. is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe and Rose Water. And it has a couple, couple different herbs. It tastes a little sweet. Um, it is definitely very scented. So if you're sensitive to smells, this definitely smells like rose. But like the nicer side of rose, it doesn't smell old ladyish, you know. So that seeps into the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lips with the Vaseline Lip Therapy. This is the one in Rosy Lips. So it's the rose one. I have a trend here. So I'm going to pop that on my lips to prep them because those are also very dehydrated. So before we go in with anything else, to prime the face, I'm going to go in with a few different primers um, just to kind of increase hydration because it's winter here in Chicago. I am dry. Um, and then also just boost up the luminous type of feel on my skin. So I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Primer Oil. You guys have seen me use this on my channel before. You can find this at Ulta and I think Sephora. I don't know if Sephora sells Smashbox actually. I think it's just Ulta. I'm going to rub that into the skin. So yes, my setup has changed again. This I feel like is probably where it's going to stay for a while. Because this back room is so small. You can see I have a couple breakouts on my skin. And my chin. Thank you, Aunt Flo. So great. I haven't had my eyebrows done in quite a while, honestly. One, I haven't had time. And two, I'm just letting them grow out like I usually do. But mainly it's because I just haven't had time. <laughs> so, I'm excuse the brows today. I'm going to go ahead and use for the lines and pores on my skin, the texture, because I am very textured right now. It's not a good month for my skin, honestly. Winter kind of just ruins it. But I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is really great. 
don't be afraid. This is not only for like mature skin. It's great on mature skin because I've used it on a couple clients. I actually like this better than the baby skin. Um, I just feel like this definitely does smooth a little bit, but you can honestly instantly instantly see the difference with the Adrienne one and I just feel like it fills in lines a little bit better um and fills in pores um better than the baby skin one so I usually just focus this on my forehead where I have texture down my nose right in here and then a little on my chin and smile lines and I've tried this one with a ton of different foundations and it works really well. So while my skin kind of sucks in all the moisture that I just applied to it, I'm going to go ahead and work on my brows. For brows today, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Brow Dubo. I don't know exactly what the name of this is, but it comes with a pomade and a powder. Again, you guys have seen me use this plenty of times on my channel. Um, it does get a lot of love, as you can see. This is in the shade Medium. So like I mentioned, my brows aren't uh, clean at all, so they're going to look a little rough, so just please disregard that. This is my travel bag, which I'm going to go through later in another video um, to show you guys what I pack in my travel bag, but I just need to get a spoolie out. Okay, well, I don't have a spoolie available, so these may look a little bit weird. <sighs> to clean up the brows, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 25, because these brows need help. If you hear rattling, my radiators are turning on, and they're very loud. Gonna move on to color correcting, and I always go to these two when my skin is doing really, really bad. These are the LA Girl Pro Concealers in orange and green. So orange, I'm gonna go ahead and do under my eyes like I usually do, and any other places that I have discoloration. And green, I'm gonna try and cover up these blemishes that are like super red. So I wanted to go ahead and use the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette um, to create a look. I love this palette because you can do very simple, everyday looks, very glam, smoky looks. You can do warm tones, you can do very neutral looks. It's kind of the perfect palette, honestly. Um, I don't use it as nearly enough, honestly, just because I don't wear it makeup every day. Um, so I try and kind of rotate what I use when I film. But yeah, I haven't done this one in a little bit, so I want to go ahead and do something, something with this. <laughs> I'm kind of, I kind of want to stick to this one because I haven't really used this like sparkly purpley black shade. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, to prep for the eyes, I think what I'm going to end up doing is, instead of using a base, should I do a base on my eyes? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and use a Smashbox highlighter stick. I like to use this for under the brows to highlight or as a base on the eyes. Um, you can use concealer. I usually use concealer too. Um, you can also do like a paint pot from MAC. Whatever you use for a base, just go ahead and use that. 
I don't know, and it's not too important to have a base because I am going to use another stick on top. Um, so this is probably pointless to do, but I just feel like doing it. To set uh, what we just put down, I'm going to take a little bit of Peaches and Cream, which is a shade right here, and kind of just dust that or stamp that all over, just so that nothing sticks. So what I think I'm going to do is from here on out, just because in order for me to be very creative, I kind of need like some music and take my time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of play music over top. I will show you everything I'm doing. Um, it's basically the same technique. I'm not doing anything too crazy today. Um, just showing you the different eyeshadows and what I use. Um, but yeah, if you want a video on a detailed like tutorial showing you how I blend, why I blend, the way I blend, what tools do I use, please let me know down below in the comment bar um, and I can definitely film that for you another time. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to stick to this palette. Again, I'll show you all the products I'm using and yeah, we'll just... Cue music. Thank you. 